Hey, what's going on, dudes? Stubbs here. Welcome back to another episode of my Forza Horizon 2 Let's Play. It's a crash into everything because I'm in a uh, cockpit view for no reason at all. I was driving around something else. I wanted to see what the cockpit was like, so now I'm stuck in this. Uh, well, I'm not stuck because I can change, obviously, which it's a good idea to, to do now anyway. But let's get started. Let's continue on with the next few races and uh, let's see what we can do here. All right, so we're continuing on with the with the Sierra. Um, it's still really early for me because I just woke up. So yeah, I don't know. I like playing this game as soon as I wake up for some reason. That's why you've probably seen me do videos of this game before, just as soon as I wake up, or you know, episodes for the series. I mean. But still, it's kind of funny doing this as soon as I wake up. Alright. Competition seems to be a little bit more... I wouldn't say difficult. Whoa. Just say more, um... Stubborn, I guess, to move out of my way. Then again, they've been doing that since the beginning, haven't they? All right. It's just that was actually really good. <laughs> All of that just worked out in my favor. But now we got another E30 pulling up. Okay. Should I break? See these guys break, and then I'm like, oh man, I should break as well. But they unnecessarily break. Look like there. Why are they breaking here? I'm supposed to break a lot later than that. Okay, we're only on about halfway through. Don't need to break here at all. Or here, you don't need to break here at all. I still haven't pressed the brakes. That's why I'm overtaking everybody. I'm just driving a little bit more aggressively. Actually, let's do this while we're here, because uh, I haven't taken a picture of the RS2 or the E30, which hopefully that's it there. No, it's not. Damn it. Well, we're going to have to take a picture of the E30s as well, the Beamers. Because apparently I haven't taken a picture of those yet. Which is weird because I... Oh, okay, never mind. I was about to say, I recall taking pictures of the RS2. But... That was before I unlocked the... The little thing to uh, take pictures of cars so you can get money for it. And that's before I, I unlocked that feature. Because I do remember, and I still think I have the picture saved in my... In my files of the RS2 event. Okay, doesn't matter. It's the finish line. Let's go to the other race. I think this is the last race that we have to do. The next one. And uh, then we get to choose a different championship and move on with the game. Um, we're actually almost finished with this game. That's pretty crazy. That's actually really crazy to think about. Well, we're not really finished because there's still a bunch of other races to do. Um, and I've had so many different people uh, saying different things in yesterday's video where I asked people basically, um, you know, what would you guys want to see me do in this game once I'm finished? And loads of people gave me some really good ideas. For example, one person said that, uh, I think it was actually Fatal that said it, but I should accept challenges from you guys on stuff to do, like get a certain amount of points or... I don't know, uh, drift a certain car somewhere, or I don't even know, you know, just do some sort of a challenge that you guys uh, give me, and uh, I don't mind that, that's actually a good idea, that's stuff I used to do in, uh, in Gran Turismo 6, it was called the Challenge Series, uh, it was actually in Gran Turismo 5 as well, wasn't it? I don't remember, I think so, I've, I'm not entirely sure now. I can't remember if I, it was... Oh, no, no, no. I think it, it was just the, the Drift Challenge episodes or something like that. 
Oh man, I can't remember now. <laughs> this is weird. Right, anyway, but... Here's that E30. Uh, yeah, you guys can uh, can give me some challenges to do in this game. Um, for example, even like do a... I don't know, do a barrel roll. <laughs> that just randomly popped into my head, so yeah. I can try and do a barrel roll, or I can try and do uh, a backflip somehow. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I can try do a, like a, a backflip with the with the cars. That's that's pretty crazy, but I can try that. There's loads of ramps everywhere. For example, like the aerodrome, there's huge, huge ramps that you can try to do. Loads of different types of stuff with. And there's also like the the little dockyard thing, which I can't remember what it's called. It's all the way down in the south. There's loads of ramps and stuff there that I can try to do certain things that you guys can uh, can tell me to do. But uh, that's all up to you guys. I can I can try to do a challenge series episodes um, if you guys want to see that. Uh, you can leave me down in the comments below, obviously, what uh, what other sort of stuff you guys want to see from me when basically when the let's play of this game is finished. Um, you know, and I mean like stuff on this game, like videos on this game. But, uh, yeah, you guys have some really, really good ideas, and I'm definitely taking some of yours, if not a lot of them, into consideration. I'm going to do, hopefully, a lot of videos on this game with stuff, um, well, ideas that you guys gave me. So that's really good. Anyway, let's go on and continue. Are we really racing all the way up to the aerodrome? Because I said aerodrome cross-country, so I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing. Okay, 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 okay. Now, let us continue. Okay, yep, I heard from cross country. This is uh, this is the last race of the third championship or the second one. Watch out, guys. Just coming through. Don't mind me. I'm just here to win. I crash into trees, as I usually do when I go off-road. The only set of trees that are there, and I crash into them. <laughs> Whoa, what am I doing? That breaks for a reason. You know, I can, I can just look at the minimap and actually avoid crashing and rewinding all the time. But I'm too much of a of a rebel to do that. <laughs> and by rebel, I mean an idiot. I'm too much of an idiot. Let's look at the minimap. I click here perfectly. Get to the minimap. I know exactly where I need to go. Ooh. Have a nice little jump there. And did we turn here? At least we have a path to follow. This time. It suddenly ends here. We're actually doing quite well. We got into first place really quickly. Let's just cut through the field here. The guy in second place actually followed the, the track and then everybody else cut in front of him because they followed the way I went. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. Very rally like. And we're now in the aerodrome. But he cleared out all the boxes and stuff. That's cool. Because usually there's loads of crap inside these uh, these hangars. No, they didn't. Or maybe they did clear out some of them. Yeah, they definitely cleared out some of them. Oh shit, that's the finish line. I don't even have to go to a checkpoint. I don't know if you guys can hear that. My windows are open and my blind is down, so like it's 
the wind outside has gone absolutely crazy. Oh my god. No! <laughs> yeah, all the way up until the end where I shit myself that I was gonna lose. Holy shit. So close. Okay, now. How many do I have left to do? Two more championships to do. Okay, that's good. That is really good. My Sierra is incredibly dirty. We got another wheel spin. I think we'll we'll have like another last set of wheel spins at the end. Um of of the whole basically let's play series of this game. Plus, I think I need to, to update the playlist, so if you guys haven't seen this from the start and you want to, um, there should be a playlist down in the description box below. Okay. Alright, game. You leveled up. I wonder what car I get to drive next. Uh, but yeah, basically, there is a playlist down in the description box below of this game if you want to see the let's play from the beginning for example you don't have the game or something like that and you just want to see what the races are like and all the different places that we go to yeah you can check all that stuff in the previous episode of the let's play if you're into that sort of thing okay well look at the map I get to race a C-130, apparently. Let's see what that's gonna be like. I like C-130s. They're awesome planes. Can I just, like, skip across to here? I can. Because this is much shorter. Also, I forgot to mention one other thing. In the... <laughs> in uh, the new videos that I want you guys to give me ideas for... Um, I'm not doing Project Drifting for this game. I've said it like a bajillion times. I think I've said it in the last episode. I'm not doing Project Drifting for this game. Then somebody still said do Project Drifting for this game. But no, I'm not doing it. There's no point. Okay, XKRS. That's alright. Just remember, you both have to hit all the same points. And the turning circle on that thing is huge. Okay, so... If the turning circle that is that huge, does that mean that my race is going to be insanely long? That's fucking crazy. Wait, that's a... Th th what the fucking plane is that? Well, Sean might probably know what plane is that. If that's even an actual plane in real life. It just looks like a mixture between a C-17 and a C-130. So the C-130 doesn't have that tail. The C-17 does. And then I've never seen a C-17 with propellers. <laughs> Alright, I need to pay attention more with the car. What I'm doing instead of looking at the plane. So it's freaking insane, it just looks like it's about to bomb the whole city. <laughs> you know, a nice city you have there. It's a shame if we just shit all over it. This is incredibly shaky.
Come on, Jack. My second place again. I can't tell. Well, obviously the AI or the computer knows when I'm in first or second place, but like I don't get how this determines what place I'm in. Anyway. But Oh, he's gonna have to try land on the aerodrome. Okay. Why did I call it an aerodrome? But I guess that's what the place is called, but Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm gonna lose this. Come on. Come on. No, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to admit, I didn't think you had a chance in this one. You were like a man possessed chasing him down. Okay. That was a good fucking race. I don't even care. That was just a good race. Okay. Well. Your championship. Let's go to it. Let's see what other sets of cars we choose. To finish this off with. And I think once we're finished the championships, I think we have another, I think the last set of races, or like the last set of championships. Uh, the last set of championship. That makes no sense. The last set of races, or just the last race that we have to do, I think, against All right, guys, like, the top horizon drivers. We'll regroup back at the nice Masena hub when you're ready to move on. Got it. Let's go. That's, I think, enough wheel spin. What car is that? Mark 2. The Mark 2 GTI. Alright. Let's just move on. 50. Yeah, let's see what set of cars we can choose from. Yes, continue. Uh, cult Classic Championship. We got some track toys again. And then Extreme Off Road. Um, let's do some Cult Classics because I think, don't, yeah, we haven't done this yet. Oh, I can choose from some awesome cars. I might get the Capri out. Oh shit, these are my cars. Ooh, so tempting. Okay, Capri or 2002. So it's the only two cars that I'm interested in taking out. And they're both incredibly similar. This is a little bit faster, but a little bit heavier. And the Capri is slightly more balanced. These are very similar cars. This is a 3 liter, this is a 2 liter engine. I'll take the BMW. I would have liked the Capri, but the 2002, I think, would be a better okay, car. Okay, that was some top, top driving today. The crowds were absolutely loving it. Now, the next stage of the road trip takes us down to Castelletto. And remember, this isn't a race, so take it easy. Enjoy the okay. drive. 
Yeah, this thing's beast. I've seen a few of them around. Not a lot of them. Definitely not a lot. I've seen, and by a few, like, like I literally mean a few, like, about two or three of them. Ever. Of these BMW 2002 turbos. I've seen, I think, white ones. I think I've seen two of them. If not, if it wasn't the same one, because I've seen them both in, in, uh, in or around Dublin. And, uh, then I've seen a green one as well. What the hell is that thing in front of me? Is that the... Yeah, that's the old F-150. I should take a picture of it. I know 2002. I don't think I have a picture of the 2002. I don't know. I have a picture of the F-50, apparently. That's alright. Alright, let's continue our journey. Good job. Not even butter breaking. This is kind of fun to drive. It's very old school. I might not even do anything to this, like tuning wise. I might just leave it the way it is. And then try to drive it like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Why are you pussies driving so slow? <laughs> Breaking for every corner. It's just me and this Mustang going at it. Go BMW! And I'm gone. Ooh, just cause, uh, damn it. just cause of all these uh, tunnels, I might even make a series in this game, just showcasing all the the different sounds of the cars that are in this game. All the different cars, they have so many good sounds. It's a very bad. <laughs> okay, how can I take this picture? Something like this. Damn it! I don't have the thing there. Whatever car was behind me that I was supposed to take a picture of. That is sort of funny. Just crashing into it. So much body roll in this. Look at this. The reason why I don't take pictures of every single car is because I have loads of time to do that on my in my own time. You know, I don't want to constantly keep stopping the game so I can take pictures of cars. I think there's a Hurricane's older brother. It's actually a nice little cruise that we're on now. But I can't do the same thing that the fucking Mustang is doing. <laughs> I can't go that fast in corners, what am I thinking? Uh, Bel Air. I think it's a Bel Air. 
Whoa. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> nope. Wasn't happening. That was a really clean overtake, actually. Now he slows down. You get the fuck. <laughs> and these guys like to test you out. And I mean your patience. They love to test out your patience. Oh, that's Lexus GS. I thought that was an Affinity. And I was like, what? That's not in this game. God damn it, how far did we go? We went from Nice all the way to here. Damn. Well, that's eight miles for you. No, well, eight in game miles, I should say. At least our opponents will have the same type of old cars as us. It'd be nice and fun to race against. That's actually kind of cool to see. It's a big line of cars coming over to the, to the event. Let's see how many cars we can get in this shot. Three of them. Nice. Here we go. Okay, let's get started. Let's continue with our championship races. Hey, this one's the Colts Classics Championship. I've not seen who's on the grid for this yet, but it's always a real mixed bag. The crowd love it. Choose which race you want to do first. This, because it's right in the middle. Oh, I level up as well. Now I can drift this in first gear. Okay. Well, at least I know that. Let's check out our perks before we continue. Oh, we have six perks. And we have six wheel spins as well. All right, so we can buy this now. Permanent discount on all the cars on the auto show. I think we wanted to do that anyway. Okay, what was the next thing? Um. We get skill time bonus twice as fast. We can try this next. But we should try to get the other corner as well. Hmm. I think we should get this next. Your skill chain uh, builds twice as fast. So that's actually kind of helpful. And then we can get our, our skills or our skill points a little bit faster than that. Yeah, I didn't want to tune this at all. I just want to drive the way it is. <laughs> Can we race for, against the a Fiat 500? Yes, let's choose this. 2002 Turbo. I love the way on the on the bumper it's all written backwards, so you see it when somebody looks in their mirror. That's so funny. Instead of it being written out normally, it's so people can see it through their mirrors when they look back at it. It's this race again, where I have to. Ooh, there's a 
Hakosuka. I love that thing so much. Great car. The, the Skyline 2000 GTR. Man, these guys are crazy going into corners this fast. <laughs> Looks like the 500s, like, are still keeping up. Ooh. I think they're Abarts, aren't they? Yeah, they're Abart 500s. That's why they're a little bit faster. They're 500s nonetheless. And then we have a. What's that, C2? Corvette. Oh, that's too fast. Come on. Let me continue. There we go. It's much better. doing very well as I go off the track and crash into the wall but well, we're doing very well still we're first with a little bit of a lead as well I feel like it's about to rain. In game, I mean. It's just the, the whole scenery that it is now is. Or else it's just overcast and it did rain. Okay, these dudes are catching up to me. Man, those things are loud. The 500s, they can hear them from really far away. Great driving, mate. And another win okay, now. Well done. Let's continue. Let's go on and do one of these races. I think we'll leave it there after this one. I don't know how long exactly this was going to take. Um, actually, I think we can do two more. We're only at the 30 minute mark. Well, 33 minutes in. I'm looking at my recording here. Yeah, I think we can do two more races. Then we should be fine after that. So let's continue on to yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's do, let's do nah. Let's do these two together because they're right next to each other. But I don't I don't think we'll end up in the exact same place. That dude's bike is so fucking loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it outside, but it's really fucking bassy. Actually, I can't even tell if that's a bike or a car. I think he's been working on it for like the past while. Whatever it is. Because uh, he turned it on a few days ago as well. And then he went out for like a little test drive and then came back. <laughs> transit. Still want to drive the Transit as well. I, I haven't bought one yet. I should really get one. And just put like a, a really funny looking paint job on it. Like for example like a company that's that works here, for example. Uh, 
Right, let's enter this event with 2002. Okay, now let's have a look here. Okay, cross country race. A bit of everything, a bit of uh, off road, a bit of uh, normal. Normal road starts. I think that's it actually in cross country. You just you, it's all off road. But you start off on the road. Oh no, we have a beetle against us. Watch out, everyone. And that's an Evo 7, by the way, making that that noise. Whoa. Ever liked cars that have that little afterburner thing? Can you guys hear it? I don't know if you guys can hear it outside. It's a blue Evo 7 driving around and has like a little afterburner bullshit, so it, every time he like takes his foot off the gas, it just like... Supposedly there's a... There's a bit of petrol that shoots into the exhaust and it just makes it go... Like, makes it sound like it's fucking popping popcorn. It's a... Uh, it sounds stupid. It really does, I fucking hate that sound. It's retarded. That and the anti-lag sound. I hate the anti-lag. Bullshit as well. I want to hear the engine of a car, not a car farting. Or popping. It's just dumb. If it's naturally made, if, if, if it's because of the car and you have like a, like a, a bit of a backfire on it, that's perfectly fine, I'm happy with that, but... Like... It's dumb when it's just continuous, you know? Like the way that dude's Evo 7 is, it's, it's just, just constantly keep doing it as well. Every time you take your foot off the gas, just pops away. It sounds so dumb. But when it's a natural sound, like, for example, um, I don't know. Like, for example, muscle cars, they have a natural sound of exhaust, uh, you know, of, like, petrol going into the exhaust and popping. After you've accelerated a lot. Well, actually, a lot of cars do that, but, like, muscle cars are a little bit more, um, I don't know. You hear it better, I should say. Or maybe that's just the thing that popped into my head. I don't know, whatever. Anyway. Nice driving, mate. Okay. You're really starting to make a name for yourself. Now, yeah. it's uh <laughs> that five hundred looks so sorry looking. <laughs> it's it just looks all depressed and and sad. <laughs> Damn, that wind is crazy. Right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys for watching today's episode of my Forza Horizon. Can talk Forza Horizon 2 Let's Play. Um, this guy crashes into me. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys. Whew, two cars that we haven't taken pictures of. <laughs> Constantly keep getting interrupted. But uh, yeah, I'll come back tomorrow again with another uh, episode. And uh, as I said, I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.